back to Bookish Brits. My name is Michelle and for today's video I'd really like to share with you some diverse YA recommendations. Now, uh, the We Need Diverse Books campaign has been going on for a while. I've seen quite a few different booktube videos discussing diversity and um, all of these wonderful things and I thought that today finally I would share some of my recommendations with you. Now this is something that I've been thinking a lot about over the last few weeks because diversity is something that's very important to me. I do really want to go out of my way now to read more by people of colour. So here we are, I've got quite a few different recommendations for you, let's get started. The first is a book that I read last year and it's really really beautiful, it's kind of like middle grade sort of young YA sort of thing um, and it's Bird by Crystal Chan. This is a book about um, a, a family really and um, th this main character is is brought up and sort of in the shadow of her brother Bird's death and um, and, and this is her as um, a young teenager, I believe, and she she makes a new friend and um, and she starts really questioning um, why is this family's grief at the forefront of everything? And I really, really loved this um, this family. Um, I thought it was really, really emotional um, more than anything else, but it also felt real and honest, and I loved this. A big name that everyone mentions when talking about diversity, for good reason, um, is Melinda Lowe. Melinda Lowe has written quite a few different fantasy and science fiction stories. And what I love so much about her books is that quite often uh, her main characters will be people of colour and I believe all of her main characters are on the LGBT spectrum, which is fantastic. Uh, but her books aren't coming out stories, her books aren't uh, race issues at all. Uh, they're fun entertaining stories with people of colour and with LGBT characters, uh, but that isn't the focus of any of her books. I think she writes wonderfully and I really recommend that you check her out. Um, of course, um, in the UK uh, we have Mallory Blackman. Mallory Blackman is an absolute goddess, I believe. She's the children's laureate at the moment and she has done an incredible, incredible job trying to encourage children to read and I really love her Knots and Crosses series in particular um, and this series uh, really made me think. Um, I read it years ago and I thought it was amazing. Um, I also really, really love her book um, Boys Don't Cry, which I thought was incredible. One of my favourite books, and I believe I've talked about this book on this channel before already, uh, and that is Born Confused by Tanuja Desai Hidir. But what I really love about this book is that the main character is a person of colour. We see a lot of her family members that play a part, other people of colour in her life that she meets, um, falls in love with, uh, befriends, um, and also we get to see a little bit more of the Hindu religion, which is very fascinating. Um, there's also um, a character who comes out as being a lesbian. There are some fantastic characters. Um, it's also about family and friendship and finding that place where you feel okay. I love this book a lot. Another book that I really, really love um, is North of Beautiful by Justina Chen Hadley. Um, and, and this book really delves into identity and self-image um, and it has this fantastic uh, Chinese character. Um, and I, I really loved this exploration of, um, of image and identity in particular. Um, and there's also some really great art. Another author that I really love is uh, Jenny Han. And uh, last year I read To All the Boys I've Loved Before and uh, the, the main character um, of this story is Laura Jean, um, a Korean, half Korean I believe. I really enjoyed this story and I'm very much looking forward to the sequel coming out this year. I also really enjoy uh, Sita Brahmachari's books. This is uh, the book that she wrote for Barrington Stoke, uh, Brace Mouth, False Teeth. She's also written um, Artichoke Hearts, uh, Jasmine Skies, I believe, and um, 
The Kite Spirit. Uh, I think I've only read The Kite Spirit out of her other books, but uh, it was a really sort of um, gentle way of introducing uh, suicide and um, exam pressures and and things into sort of a young teenage uh, teenager's um, life. I really I really enjoyed it and I thought it was really sweet. Um, as is this book about a girl who who does her work experience in an old people's home. It's really, really um, sweet and gentle and fun. That I read very, very recently is My Heart and Other Black Holes by Jasmine Warga. This is a book about two characters, Azel and Roman, and they're, they're not doing so well. They both really have this urge to end their own lives, but they don't feel like they can just do it on their own. So they sort of partner up in a way to become suicide buddies. It's a book um, more about um, depression and grief and guilt and, and moving on um, and slightly falling in love. But um, I, I really, really enjoyed this book. My last recommendation for you today is um, is Tanya Byrne. Um, I really, really love Heart Shaped Bruise. It's one of my favorite books that I've read in recent years. Um, but it's probably um, Follow Me Down um, that I recommend f uh, in terms of in terms of uh, diversity. Whereas um, b because the the main character of this book is. Um, Nigerian, I believe, and what you know what I loved so much about the main character of this book is that she's she's beautiful, she's smart, she's talented, uh, and she's she's from Africa. It, it it was really interesting to to read about her experiences and her family life and everything, but it it isn't again the main focus of the story. And I guess that is kind of what I like about um, most of these books is that. Um, I guess, except for possibly um, knots and crosses, um, these books, these books contain people of color, written by people of color, but they're not so much about being um, a person of color. They're they're about um, being human and um, things that are important to, to human beings, particularly teenage human beings. Um, and that's that's probably why I like them so much. There are some diversity recommendations for you. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you again in two weeks time.